Hey, we were talking about uh, doing acid in prison. Or oh, you know that you know world, that, man. You know Don't, you're going to get on the acid with me. We're going to have that, a fucking trip. I should have brought something now. Yeah, you should have. That would have been fucking do, wild. Do, would huh? you do it? I would do it. Okay. I'll, do, I'll do a little bit. I would do half of what you did. No, well, okay. If I do four, you're going to do two. Okay, that's fair. All right. But what else? What I was saying is we got to do it. That'd Whitey be a Bulger, fucking great show. Oh my god, I couldn't. I wouldn't be able to talk. Probably no, you would. I'd just be sitting here. Just have, like, have you uh, done acid? Have you done acid? Uh, no, I've done mushrooms, not acid. Okay, M- mushroom acid is a lot better than mushrooms. to me. Some people just I've heard that. Uh, people uh, last a little longer. It's better once you do acid. They did a study in acid. The, the government they took two military units. You can look it up. They took two military units and they gave one acid, one not. LSD, mm-hmm. and they did the mission twice as fast, twice as more proficient, mm-hmm. but they learned the government couldn't control these guys then. Once you do acid once, it's going to open your whole fucking world up to another life, and yeah. it's amazing. I've, I've actually gotten things like ideas and shit. And, mm-hmm. You know, you look at Sting, you look at a lot of people, I mean, yeah. how they wrote songs, and yeah. back at a lot of the greatest artists in the world, you know, Edgar Allan Poe, people like that, mm-hmm. all fucking Einstein, I mean, Think of that. Maybe he fucking found that shit and that math shit. Was Einstein doing acid? Yeah. Was he really? So, you know. But why did he bulger? He was experimented on in prison with yes, acid. Yes, absolutely. They gave it him, was in Atlanta. They gave him LSD. I was in Atlanta. Part of MK the, Ultra. I was in prison. I was, not, I was in that prison. Not, are you, do that. I, don't, I don't I don't I'm not that up to date on the conspiracy theory revolving around him, but I heard that they gave him acid. And they try to control him and then, like, have him carry out murders. I don't buy that. Whoever come no? up with that, I don't buy that even a little. No. No. Why wouldn't they do that? I mean, uh, I, I don't think, because that? I, I don't think acid or anything will do that to that point. Yeah, but you can, you can break down, pe- the, the idea is you can break down people's minds with acid. And the, No, we, you we, can't. We, we See, that's for, what you can't do. Whoever told you that, I don't know where you read it, and I want to see that article, because when you read all about acid and how it does works the brain, it doesn't. It opens it up. It gives you a better perspective of things. It makes you think outside the box. So it doesn't make you controlled by the government. Otherwise, they'd be fucking gave it to that unit that did everything proficiently. They would control you. Mm-hmm. So it makes no control, if but, anything. But. If they administer it to somebody in therapeutic doses Go ahead. and keep them in isolation and feed them certain stimuli or, or give, you know, give them. You're talking deep shit now. You, but go ahead. you basically like what they do with these prisoners is or like what they did with Ted Kaczynski in, at Harvard. Those mm-hmm. those uh, LSD studies that they were doing on those guys. They were trying to with MK Ultra. It was a a program to figure out mind control. Yeah, MK Ultra was a top secret CIA project with the agency conducted with hundreds of clandestine experiments, sometimes on unwitting U.S. citizens to assess potential use of LSD and other drugs for mind control. Information gathered uh, for psychological torture. Absolutely, it, it didn't work. So, so whatever you're saying, it did not work. That's why I might have tried it. Right, it might not have worked, but it did work. There was one lady who actually sued the government because they were experimenting on her with this, and they were doing it. What they would do? Well, they were doing it in the military, and they were doing it in prisoners. That's the main thing. Uh, maybe. That's where they. That's what they did. If you look at all their studies, and in universities too. I don't know how much they had to do. You know, did, did they didn't have any control over universities to do that? Obviously, with the military, they, they you know you're in the military, and mm-hmm. prisoners get fucking nothing coming. But if you keep if you take one person, right? If you, if you or a group of people, and this you is give, fun. And you give I'm them, glad I'm here. <laughs> I'm glad you're here too. Man. Hi, I love. Thanks for too. coming. And you give them LSD every single day, right? And you try to beat something into their head every single day. You keep you keep them high, and you keep introducing certain thoughts into their head every day or telling them certain things. Seems like a lot of work. And trying, it seems, yeah, it probably is a lot of work. I mean, but let like me tell you why funny. I don't know. I was with the guy, and this is where I got to, I was with a guy, great guy. He ends up getting a life sentence for acid, 30,000 tabs. And he ends up, uh, he, was, he used to follow the Grateful Dead around. And it was great because what he used to do, he, used to, he loved the story he tells. He would go to a Kmart, I didn't even have Kmart anymore, and he'd buy the plastic kiddie pool, you know, kiddie pool. Yeah. But plastic, not not blow up pool. Right, you know, right, the right. plastic. Hard plastic. He'd buy one of those, go to every venue to dead playing at. He'd buy a pool. He would get tons of beer, cases and cases of beer, ice, 
and then throw 200 vials or 100 vial hit of acid in the water. Everybody get, grabs that water, grabs the grabs a beer at it, I think, you need to get high. You know, that's how acid works. So <laughs> and he's fucking the stories he used to have because he, he had a hundred hit, a hundred hit vial leak into his body. He ended up selling his whole worldly possessions for two tickets to Grateful Dead in Haight-Ashbury in Frisco, a skateboard and a fucking, uh, uh, the tickets and a skateboard and, I don't know, some, oh, fucking some bullshit. Oh, guitar. He sold his whole world of fish, furniture, everything he owned. How did this vial of 100 hits of acid get into his system? But whatever. He didn't put the ta- cap on right or whatever. Was it an accident? Yeah, it was an accident. Now, he said he was oh fucked up for six months. God. Now, you can't overdose on acid. I want people to know that. You cannot overdose. You can never die from it. It doesn't raise your level of your... Uh, you know, your blood pressure or your uh, heart rate. It doesn't do anything of that nature. I've done a lot of acid in my day. And I've found that, now I'm very controlled. First of all, if you do too much acid, you'll burn the serotonin in your brain and, and endorphins and serotonin in your brain. They, you're not going to get it. It'll take you more and more and more. It took him, that guy used to do 10 So you build a tolerance. Of, yeah. Well, <clears throat> it's in you. You know, once acid's in, you, you know, acid is in you. The only way to check for acid too is a spinal tap. You mm-hmm. know, like, uh, so they, there's no tests for acid. But- Acid can really fuck you up if you do it when you're young, like before your brain develops. If you do it, if you abuse it when you're a young teenager, think, but that goes for anything. It goes for any drug, absolutely. And I'm I'm a big advocate of legalizing all drugs, all drugs, fentanyl. I don't care, legalize it. Mm-hmm. People go, why why would you do that? Well, if you're gonna go to that route of illegalizing some, then why do we haven't have glue? People huff glue and they fucking go crazy. They burn mm-hmm. their brain cells out. They go to Home Depot and they get this fucking poisons and shit for rats and fucking shit. <laughs> and they fucking do it. So let's just illegalize every, you know, make make everything that we think is somebody. Yeah. Stop the control. I'm a, I became a libertarian because I used to be a Republican, young Republican. Then I was a fucking Democrat. Because I'm more, li- I'm very socially liberal. Very socially liberal. Uh, and more somewhat fiscally co- conservative i think most people are that you know people don't want to see their money wasted in no fucking shit we pay it on mm-hmm. but they don't you do you give a fuck who marries who do you care about what people do in their own house no absolutely no young people i deal with a lot of young people mm-hmm. you're i mean you're even your age you're 40 down let's call it and i can't know one that gives a fuck about any <clears throat> of that shit no because it's it's a non-issue but the religious right and certain people like that and it, it's such bullshit but they were well, talking about the, drugs it's the, it's legalize the, them all they've done them they're doing it now mm-hmm. you know washington state is now decriminalized mushrooms and acid a lot of these they they're getting it now mm-hmm. but i don't know if they're just getting it or just the government's letting the control up you know what i mean it was all about control yeah the legalizing drug things the legalizing uh drug thing would be great especially for you know things that people that are cut with all kinds of various substances that people don't know what the fuck's in it like you buy a you buy a, a gram of coke you don't know what the fuck you're getting you're getting it cut with creatine borax right. well fentanyl. You, it used to be vitamin uh <clears throat> vitamin b right did, but the you, problem is the dealers in the u.s what are you doing take a picture of me yeah take a picture take people they get in the u.s take like, one of me. you want to take a picture of you? yeah okay, okay. <laughs> say cheese <laughs> they get it and they don't know what the fuck's in it you know what i mean yeah absolutely. like you can go to the store and you can buy a bottle of booze or you know you could buy a fucking cigar you know it's tobacco you know it's yeah you know it's no liquor. no no what you're saying is correct when you, you want I, you know people should be able to if they want to go to a pharmacy get a prescription for cocaine which you can get you can get a prescription for cocaine they can you be, yeah i never heard of yeah it. You, you could you should be able to go and do it and know exactly what the fuck you're getting i agree you know i i just think you know, we have gotten away from, you know, people say, first of all, both sides suck. I'm not going to go there. Uh, we've gotten away from being, we're not free. I love when people say we're going to live in a free country. No, not. You don't live in a free country. Well, yes, you do. You, you can do this. <laughs> Listen, whether it's by money, whether it's by status, wherever it is. You know, George Collin used to say, if you ever listen to George Collin, he's on fucking, I love his station on Sirius. I still listen to him all he's the time. He's got his own station on Sirius. Yeah, yeah. Really? The Collin channel. And uh, he's just so fucking hilarious. And he, uh, so George Collins says, listen, there's a club and you're not in it. <laughs> Meaning like, you know, they, they, they can do everything, you know, the government and, and they just, alcohol, of course, is, anybody who tells me I don't believe in drugs, any drug, or even legalize them all. I, first thing I say to them is, what do you think about alcohol? If they say, oh, that's okay. You, you, all your arguments go out the window mm. because 
listen, many studies. I deal with young people. You know that in my program, the Reality Check Pro, still number one program in the country. Uh, did you know that 70, almost 80, 79 or 78.9 uh, kids start in their first thing with alcohol? Mm-hmm. They don't start marijuana. They don't start with hard drug or whatever. They start with alcohol. So that you want to talk about a gateway drug? Easy, it's the easiest thing to get. Easiest thing to get.